Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com, here to bring you another gear review. Today we're talking about, well actually we're continuing on our Battle Belt series, and we've made it around to where I keep my gloves. The gloves I keep on my Battle Belt are these. Overlord Short by Outdoor Research. The Overlord gloves are constructed using Nomex with a little bit of stretch in it, as well as a fire resistant leather. All the stitching on it is double needle stitched using a Kevlar thread, lending itself both fire resistance as well as just durability. The entire glove is anatomically made. Everything's articulated, thumb, fingers, all of it. Down here, you also have this handy pull tab, which is fortunately, unlike some gloves, attached on very strong right here so that you can actually pull it on and not rip this or the glove. The glove itself is anatomical to the point where this is the position your hand wants to be in when it's in. You can obviously flex it back, flex it forward, but it's pretty much made to a kung fu grip. This actually lends itself very well to weapons manipulation. This being my sport hand, you can see it's pretty worn right here. Use this for a good probably two years or so, and especially through here, you'll end up with wear and tear, mainly due to rail systems. If you don't have any type of rail cover or anything like that, it just turns into a cheese grater. Due for a new set of gloves here pretty soon, you can see after a couple years, the seam's actually blown out, and you can see little bits of wear on the fingertips there. One of the places these gloves shine is in weapon manipulation, both with rifle, but especially with pistol. Being able to manipulate the pistol, be able to have all that dexterity to be, feel the wall, bring it back, and get that smooth trigger press, it's huge. Most gloves don't allow for it. These actually do a very superb job. So why are we wearing our gloves? Ultimately, protect our hands from whatever that may be broken glass, climbing up over walls, anything. But at the same time, we still have the dexterity we need to utilize all our weapon systems, as well as even render medical aid. Additionally, if you have to touch dirty people, which happens time to time, whether you're law enforcement or working overseas, I would much rather touch them with some gloves than my bare hands. Also, these offer a level of fire resistance. Now, we don't openly want to go grab things. These aren't oven mitts. We're not trying to grab suppressors, machine gun barrels, anything like that, pull a pie out of the oven. Don't want to do any of that stuff. But in the event of accidental contact with anything hot, not going to burn, not going to melt. It's not like having a nylon glove that's going to melt and then melt to your skin, or for that matter, leave your skin on some hot surface. So fire resistance, super bonus. Another great feature in these gloves is the pull tab, which I had mentioned earlier. I look for that in pretty much all gloves at this point. What it allows, aside from helping you pull these gloves on, which is a good thing, it allows you a way to store these. So for example, I said these stay on my battle belt. The way I do that is with the ITW Nexus Grimlock. I have this guy mounted on my belt and I can just throw these guys on here, latch it, done. They're always there until I need them. Really handy feature. Make sure you never are somewhere where you don't have your gloves. Always on your kit. So the downside to these guys, it's gonna be price. These things retail through outdoor research for 160 bucks. As you can tell, obviously their biggest buyer is government. No one else is about to shell out 160 for these things. Having said that though, if your department or if your unit isn't gonna provide you with these, and you're in a position where you actually need some bomb-proof, fire-resistant gloves, chances are you're already in the industry and that you're law enforcement, military, something like that. If you contact Outdoor Research, they can hook you up with a pro account, which will actually give you a really substantial discount on these gloves. Still gonna be fairly expensive, but if you're in that line of work, protecting your hands and maintaining dexterity, super huge, super important, you only get two hands. These are probably the last pair I'll ever get though, in part because I picked up another pair of their regular Overlord, the long ones. Couldn't be more disappointed. 
none of the dexterity that I found in the Overlord short. And in addition to that, there's no pull tab. Yeah, I could go ahead and sew on a 550 core loop, but at this price point, I'm not sewing anything on anything. So if you actually have need of the fire resistance of a good bomb-proof glove, like I said, got about two years out of these before it's time to retire them. Check out the Overlord short. As always, thanks for joining us at kipadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.